I'm cooking up for lunch this week. Um, I start with some hamburger and I'm gonna cook that down and then I'm gonna add some more seasonings. I'm gonna make it up for like uh, basically like burritos put it in tortilla chips or tortilla shells and I can also eat it with some tortilla chips like a almost like a dip or something so we're gonna cook this hamburger down and we'll come back and show you what we do well I'm cooking I got the hamburger browned and you can see the stove is still on here I run out of butane so I'm gonna have to improvise fortunately I got my bug out bag I had a feeling this thing was going to run out of butane, and I looked for some at, at Walmart the other day, and sure enough, they were out. And I'm imagining it was because of the snowstorm that we were expecting and got. We got like eight inches of snow. And the store shelves were like half empty when I went into Walmart the other night and I didn't even know that the snow was coming so so we're gonna have to use my Trangia stove and my little homemade deal here get it filled up with alcohol here I think I'm gonna use the cover so I can regulate the heat because I don't want to like just superheat this and cook it in, in two minutes so I'm gonna use the little cover here and probably leave it about a third of the way open maybe a little more than that since it went out on me get this to set here. Why is it not set in level? There we go. Well, why is the one side not set? Oh, <laughs> it wasn't pushed together. Alright. Well, and it went out again. So we're going to have to go probably halfway. Maybe at least until it gets warmed up. Yeah, there's still a flame there. Um, the hamburger's browned. And it cooks better because I'm putting the, the lid on it here. Um, I'm going to put some, some rice in here. And then I've got these chili beans. I'm going to put a can of these in there. I normally put Italian seasoning because I just like the the flavor of Italian seasoning but I don't have any. Oh I do. I've got probably three or four containers but they're in my storage. I took took them to my storage when uh, when I lost my other job. I like my thing spicy so I'm gonna kinda Turn this red here with chili powder. And I'm not just going to add some beans to this, I'm also going to add some rice. But we're also going to add some fresh jalapenos and a half a stick of margarine because I'm going to put some, some rice in here and that margarine will help keep the rice from being so sticky and and then I'm gonna put in some garlic powder I would ra ra rather have fresh garlic but I don't have he any here at the house right now so I'm gonna put some garlic powder and I like this garlic powder because 
over garlic salt because I like salt but the garlic powder you can make some toast and sp spread some margarine on it butter and put garlic powder on it and make garlic bread garlic toast and you, you can't do that with garlic salt I mean you don't want salty garlic toast garlic bread and I think I'm gonna open that a little bit more little more heat on that and will that margarine get melted down well, I can probably put some rice in there right now and probably some water and I just use this minute rice because it's pre-cooked basically and re, re dehydrated but it works really good for something like this and I can make up a pot of this and I mean, this will last me all week. I can come home on lunch and eat this on a like a, a flour tortilla, like a burrito, maybe a jalapeno, and if I just eat it for lunch, I mean, a pan of this will last me all week. And it's cost me like you know maybe five bucks so we'll put a little water in there for the rice not too much because of the the margarine in there that's gonna absorb into the rice too and we'll cover that up and let it cook a while and after the rice starts to puff up a little bit then I'll yeah I can actually probably add the beans in now too and of course I don't have my good can opener that's in storage I have one of them can openers that actually cuts around the outside of the rim so you don't cut yourself on the can but this is all I got right now P38 in my wallet so we're gonna use the P38 open these beans because that way some of the bean juice will absorb into the rice too and when I'm using the P38 I've learned not to grab way down here where the the hole is to put it on your key ring because you'll bend it so you grab right up at the top and just work slow incremental almost like you're sawing through it but yeah if you grab down on that end you'll bend the thing they're not made that tough okay let me pop that lid up out of there After, after this gets cooked together really well I will take my my spatula and I will kind of smash those beans up a little bit just to kind of make them more like I don't know I guess refried beans or something just to kind of blend them in a little better make sure I put this can opener back in my wallet so I know where it's at but yeah I I'd rather use like the chili beans because they have you know a little more flavor they got a little more spice in there like I said I I like to put some Italian seasoning in there but I don't have it with me it's in storage somewhere and I haven't bought any more and I haven't been to storage to get any more so mix it up a little bit here make sure I get that rice mixed in really good so it'll rehydrate because if a lot of a lot of people really don't know that 
minute rice is rice that's been cooked, dehydrated, and boxed. That's why you don't have to cook it so long. So, yeah, I guess I'm gonna have to probably open that up the rest of the way. Because without those jets, it just doesn't get the, the flame. But it's gonna last a long time. It's definitely gonna last long enough to, to heat this up and cook it. So we'll let it cook for a while and we'll come back and show you how we're doing. Alright, doing good. Got some bubbling going on in there. Rice is starting to rehydrate. Yeah. And you know, this is a week's worth of lunches for me. I can come home from work and because I'm only like five minutes away from work. So I can come home from work and grab me some of this out the fridge. Throw it on a tortilla, throw it on a paper plate, warm it up in the microwave. And eat for five bucks a week. cost me to go to McDonald's once. I can uh, kick, kick that down a little bit. simmer a little while longer. Break them beans up a little more. Get them mixed in. I just like the chili beans because they add a lot more flavor than refried beans. And, you know, they just... And they're cheap. I mean, it's like 65 cents a can or something. The most expensive thing is a hamburger. The... Jalapenos are, I don't know, I think it cost me like 50 cents for three of them. And I threw probably one of them in, in my pickle jar to pickle them. And like I said, the rice is almost nothing. I mean, that's probably 20 or 30 cents because it cost just a couple bucks for a box and I just sprinkled some rice in there. Um, I am going to cut up an onion. I am going to cut up an onion and put an onion in there. I'll dice it up and we'll add that too. Alright, it's cooking up good. Last thing to add is the onions. I cut up a nice, decent size onion. Now I'll mix this in, let it cook for a little bit, and eat what I want tonight, and throw it in the fridge. Well, that's a nice big pan full. Um, it was eight dollars for the hamburger, and I cooked only half of it. And this, the rice was just pennies. The onion, maybe fifty cents. Jalapenos, maybe another 
50 or 75 cents. A stick of butter, a half a stick of butter. A dollar for the whole pack, so you got 12 and a half cents there. I think it was 67 cents for the beans. For the can of beans, just because I buy the generic brand. Either way, I mean, whether you buy the generic brand or the expensive brand, you're still getting all the stupid preservatives that we don't need. Yeah, this is like five, six dollar pan full of goodness that'll feed me all week. I'll eat a, a good hearty dinner tonight. Oh, get in there. And I'll probably make me a burrito tonight. Put this in a burrito. But, but yeah, sometimes I just come home and grab some tortilla chips, throw some of this on a paper plate, put it in the microwave dip a couple of tortilla chips, maybe a little cheese and crackers, and that's good, I mean, well, yeah, the alcohol's still going, oh that's, yeah, that'll cook for another half hour, 45 minutes, since I dampered it down on that little, I don't know what you'd call that, that top, to burn that alcohol like that on the Trangia. But, yeah, I'll let it cook for another half hour or so, and 20 minutes at least anyway. And eat me something before bedtime and throw it in the fridge. Ooh, looking good. Looking good. Yeah, looking very good. Everything's cooked in good. Well, the beans aren't mashed in as like as well as I would like them to be sometimes, but but yeah, looking very good. Everything's cooked together really well. And see, looks very good. Um, I think I can look out my transient stove and yeah, knock it out. It has still got a more alcohol in it, so very efficient cooking that way. I was thinking about making burrito, but I think I'm just gonna throw some of this on a plate and I've got some tortilla chips here I think that's my dinner tonight before I go to bed uh, looks very good I'll let that cool down before I put it in the fridge since I've got just a little mini fridge here let that cool down so I don't warm the refrigerator up too much when I put it in there. Wash that off. I'll scrub that down later with a little bit of soap. But yeah, very good dinner. And like I said, that will last me all week. I can come home on lunch and either have it with some tortilla chips or put it in a tortilla shell and have a burrito with a little bit of like salsa on top. I've got some salsa on the fridge and that's my my whole you know lunch or dinner whatever whatever you want to call it since I work second shift 
that's my whole lunch or dinner for uh, a whole week for you know five or six bucks rather than going to McDonald's you know five or six bucks for one visit one night so I'm gonna sit down and eat and I'm gonna turn the camera off here and we'll catch you on the next one